I mean, the eye right. in the in the eye of Ghanaians, thirty point eight million people, and you're telling us that you know things are better than before. Eleven cities for fuel prices. I mean, sometimes you just walk past the the you know the fuel system like yeah. You don't know how much or what when this is going to increase. Okay, do so, you so, so care? Let me, let do me... you care about the plight of Ghanaians? Sir? That is a really unfair question. Why? And I think it's really uh, difficult for me to 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 listen. Um, to you for you to say that and by the fact of the matter is that we were on a trajectory of growth and I believe the numbers um, indicate that um, our debt issues uh, were increasing um, because we had to finance um, all of these social interventions which are real um, then we had a COVID intervention and the COVID intervention and um, believe me there were maybe 6.3 million debts globally. Africa had 250,000. Ghana had 1,400,000. I mean, the assumption, a period in which teachers might have been home for nine months, in which they were paid, most countries laid them off. The whole civil service of 650,000 people were kept of salaries. That must mean something a period of difficulty of lockouts, where therefore we're able to supply electricity and water to people. I mean, it, it's it's really difficult so for me out, for, to right. pretend, you know, in a sense, that we haven't had a cataclysmic uh, event beyond the past hundred years.